Hello, my name is Pamela Spivey. Welcome to the Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group video blog. Today's topic is things that can go wrong during a transaction. But before we get started, if you're thinking of buying or selling, please take a moment to look below at the links and if you have any questions, click the link and we'll be more than happy to assist you. So things that might go wrong during a transaction. I'm going to list a few. There are hundreds of things that could go wrong. I'm going to just list a few items so you'll just be prepared. Um, for example, income verification. The what was stated on the actual application is not exactly what the person is bringing in for the buyer. Another item would be like a gift donor that's going to give you money. At the end, they decide to change your mind. Now there's not enough to close the transaction. Another example is difficulty in obtaining verification of rent. That's a big one. We see that a lot, where the landlord were unable to contact the landlord and we have some issues, and that is something that we're going to need in order to fund the loan. On the seller side, we find out there's a lien at the end of closing, and the seller doesn't have the funds to, to take care of the lien. That could possibly be a you know, reason we would close the deal. These are just a few items that could occur when you're doing a transaction. Our goal is to make sure that we look at these items, take care of them, and ensure you have a smooth transaction. If you'd like more information, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.